guys, Lee Yoshi here, and welcome back to the Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. And last time uh, we went through West Nekluda and uh, uh, finished through all of Kakariko Village and traveled and made our way to the fort right here in uh, West Nekluda, sort of. And seen, you know, yeah, we, we kind of just stopped there. So uh, today we are going to be traveling through that fort and seeing exactly what's going on here past this gate thingy here, hopefully getting to the Hitano village. So that's going to be our plan today. Uh, I'm here with my little Micah today. Yeah, I'm Micah. I'm not you. He's going to be doing commentary with me as we go into part 18 of the Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. I'm so. thinking of part 9. Yeah. Alright, well, there are some people here. That's very interesting. Uh, it is raining at the moment. Not that it's doing too much. It's not climbing. But I grow vegetables in a Dano village, sell them at the Julian Peak stable, then I use the money to buy meat and head back. So I guess my job is to make sure folks in Hitano village have full bellies? By the by, how's your belly? I'd love it if. <laughs> I'd love it if you bought something, but I mean, I'm just trying to show you what I've got for sale. Alright, so this is another one of. These guys are so selling stuff. Alright, so this is all stuff that we found in Kakariko. Well, we didn't find um, <laughs> so, I mean, I, 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 I'm I, thinking I should buy these. Uh, because I do want to do some cooking today, as we haven't done very much cooking in the past. right here. So that is one of the things I intend on doing, hopefully yeah. soon. But, um, uh, yeah, that's going to be our plan for today. Uh, so let's... Talk to Agus right here, or Agus. I don't know how to say his name. Um, oops, accidentally <laughs> you bought his thing twice. Alright, um. Alright. Uh, I'm sorry, there's just the dialogue in the game sometimes just cracks me up. I'm sorry. Um, where is our Amborn? Like, precious stones, gems, you know, so fast. Yeah, that's. Um, and then right. the one up, up, up above the topaz. No, that's the luminous stone. That's not what we're looking for. Oh. Alright, um, do we have anything else? I yeah, could have. Yeah, yeah, we have opal, okay. Yeah. Uh, have that's 240. Yeah. What does this guy get so much money, dude? You got. You had to wonder. Um, you gonna see if there's anything else? Uh, anything I'll else? Say. Is it, is it on this side? Is that what you're saying, no, Michael? on the other side. Oh, here? No, let's just go left. So, uh. <laughs> Alright. Well. Uh, I'm sorry, just the things that these people are saying just sometimes crack me up. It's just funny okay, sometimes. Just um, anyway, so as I said, we're making our way through uh, this... Yeah, to to uh, this area was on the site of an ancient battle. Unlike other well-known runes, I don't think I don't think imagining what took place here would be very satisfying. The reason I say this is because none of the old stories about the Great Calamity mention it being entirely defeated. Huh. All right. Well, uh, we're gonna make our way through here, right here. All right. Uh, there is a guy right here by a fire. Of course, the fire is what we need to make some food. So this is quite useful, I will say. Um, this guy's sleeping. I wasn't sleeping, I wasn't, I was praying for the source of the warrior who all died here at Fort Hayten. Okay, so, Fort Hayteno is what it's called. That's a totally different thing. You're welcome to join me, everyone. Okay. So if I stay with him, what does he say? Fort Hayteno here is the last line of defense between Hayteno Village and the terrible trail. Tragedy that happened all those years ago. If not for the fort and the soldiers who held the line here, Hyrule as we know it may have been gone entirely. It is our duty as the survivors to pray that those who live their lives are full to find peace and to pass on the story of the warrior. Alright. Uh, do I, if I talk to him again, does he tell me what the, who the warrior is? Okay, okay, okay. Just... Wait, so does he say new stuff in the morning then? Because he said, like, well, I'll, I'll continue on in the morning. So does he actually... Um, wait, is there a... Is there another army? I'm seeing another army. I think I just go. Okay, okay. Alright, now let's see what we can make. Of course, I'm completely blind in this, so I don't know what makes what, but I do know that I need to. Uh, I think you should like, get a holy bass and like, listen. Or like, listen. And 
Yeah. Okay, so what do I want? I want stuff that heals hearts, definitely, but also things that heal stamina. And, um, yeah, I might as well hold some good butter oil, I'm sure. Actually, uh, I'm gonna try... Okay, stop holding. There we go. Okay. Um, actually, I don't want to use all of those, so... I'm gonna try making a stamina... Oh, yeah, hot food. A stamina-based meal the way to you. This is stamina recovery. It has to be mixed with the monster of heart, of course. And what about... Okay. If I make... So those are all fish. Actually, no, I don't think those are monster bots. No, th those are not monster bots. Oops. Okay, um, go try this again. So one, so, uh, one, two. Put in some fish. Uh, monster bots, monster bots. What would be some good monster bots? Uh, maybe not some tentacles. Maybe, maybe instead we could use, um, um, how about some key swings? How about that? Alright, we'll work that into a meal. Hopefully it makes something edible. Maybe. Oh no. Uh, well, shoot! <laughs> failed. I um, know, I failed like a thousand times. Oh, okay, time. okay. What? Did I do something wrong? I, I, I obviously did something wrong. Um, so that, this is a speed boosting elixir, right? So, yeah, let's make some speed boosting stuff right here. And, um, maybe mix it with an Octorok eyeball. How about that? See if that makes anything. I really hope that I don't waste all my stuff. Before this thing. And, um, hey, it made something! Alright! So, this is a high level haste effect, which is running speed. Okay. So, this doesn't heal hearts, but it's good for um, making good speed, which is obviously very helpful. So. Uh, we're going to now make some restless crickets. Uh, perhaps we can mix that with, um, what's, what might heal a lot? That's a good question. Oh, whoops, did I not? Okay. Yeah, I I'm actually going to use one restless cricket in each of these, and then uh, try to make it so that we can make multiple of these, you know. Um, Let's see. What what else can I put in here? Choo-choo jelly? Why not? I mean, I don't know what does what again, so I mean... Uh, again, I'm just going blind here, yeah. so... Hey, I made something! God! Oh. This is a use room for four. Okay. So, it's not very good, actually. So I might want to use two restless crickets, then. Um, get, gives off heat? Huh. Oh, okay. I'm gonna mix that with some milk. Put that with a monster pot. Like, um. Does it. Can we make this? No? Okay, what what should we put in our meal? Is the question. How do you know if it's a Alright, let's, let's try this! Let's try this! Again, I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know what makes what. Okay. But hopefully I can make something. Alright. Oh, wow, that's your six. Wow, alright. Uh, that's pretty cool. All... And we're gonna make one more. Uh, quick, get some Bacoblin guts. Mix in, you know, some of this stuff right here, you know. Um, uh, yeah. See what this makes, see what this makes. It ought to make something. <laughs> I'm sure it's just like hearts. Um, no? Dubious food? Ha, huh. alright. Oh, well, that's two dubious foods, but we did make some food, so, I mean, it wasn't all bad, so, uh, let's continue mm. on as, you know, time is going. Well, I guess dubious food is... Actually, wow, there's a lot of people here, in fact. Let's, let's talk to these guys again, I'm sorry, I... Oh, whoops, that's the same guy. Um... I'm sorry if I'm taking a while, but, um... I do want to explore everything around you, as I have not seen very much. Oh, hey, what's the um, nail? I'm take that. Oh, take, oops. Okay. Okay, I just need to deal with these bees for a second. Uh, where did the. What? How did they deal so much damage? What happened with the uh, beehive? Did you see the beehive? Where'd it go? It took it. Did I take it? Yeah. Yeah, okay, okay, okay. Yeah. Wow, there's a lot of beehives over here. Alright. Right. 
take this beehive if they don't mind. I'm sure they won't mind, I mean. Alright, take this one right here. Now I got a lot of bees after me. <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm good for now. Uh, but, uh, yeah, I, I will, uh, take... One foot probably would be a better idea. I do know that there is a house here. I'd imagine that there's something in this house that looks very prominent. I mean, I think so. Uh, let's go in. There's a dude in here. He seems old. Let's speak to him for it. He has uh, ancient text. There's one lurking book here. Would you read it? No, read it. When a dark light resides in the cursed statue's eyes, clears its glades to forge a seal from the shrine. That's confusing, and to an extent, I wasn't really reading. Okay, dark light resides in curses. Okay, so something to do with statue when it's dark. Pierce its gaze. Oh. Oh. Okay. 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 What are you up to? Okay, this guy's name is Caliph. Ha! Let me guess. You got wind of the great Doctor Caliph's groundbreaking research when I just had to meet him for yourself. <laughs> No, you've never heard of me. You never even heard of me? Well, after all, after I've dedicated my life to researching the ancient shrines. Sorry, well, you better remember my name, for it's not the last you'll hear of it. Well, I'm at it. It's Dr. Kellop, if you please. I didn't study my real end off to be called Dr. Mr. Kellop, so everyone forgets I'm a doctor for some reason. And since you asked, I'll inform you that I'm engaged in analyzing ancient texts. I haven't time for idle cheap chat. Soon, my long day's research will be revealed, and all the world will hail it as a discovery of the century. To prevent any undue attention, I haven't even told my family about my work. You understand, I'm sure. Of course, Dr. Gallup. Doctor. Did I just hear you call me Doctor? Is it not merely Callop, but Dr. Callop? It rolled off your tongue so naturally. It's downright salivary? I don't know. Ham. This changes things. <laughs> Very well, then. I'm feeling sure. Well, so I'll let a few things fail. This is just between us, understand? When a dark light resides in a cursed statue's eyes, pierce its glades to... Uh, yeah, okay, so I read that. I'm still in the positives of deciphering that one, but perhaps it's... Okay. So this guy just seems to have... Um... A... Hint for a shrine. I'd imagine that it would be around here in, like, Hutano Village, I so. think I know where it is, though. I'm gonna just take out this choo-choo quickly. Um, exactly. Alright, well, I think I continue on, it is night! I <sighs> uh, might want to actually eat, it might be... That might be a good idea. Alright, now let's continue on. Uh, that is... An enemy camp, I think, whoops, not... Meaning to ride off over there, and... Um, you know, maybe it would be a small idea to actually venture off of it, but let's see. Um, this water doesn't look too, um, wow, wow, that actually is looking, uh, quite fast. Maybe that was not a good idea. But actually, we have some stamina. So it's actually not, okay, okay. Um, I want to change that around, um. Is there any other- oh shoot, the guy already noticed me. Oh, uh, there is... TNT. Oh, okay, there's some TNT, but, uh, it might be hard to hit it. Okay. Now they're- now they're attacking. If I can just... hit that TNT and- oh boy. Oh, uh-oh, my bow is broken. Um, I'm gonna put a wooden bow here. Uh, take out this TNT! And that worked very well, except for the fact that it didn't. Alright, let's just stab a few people. Uh, this guy has a flaming sword now, but now he's dead. The other guy is a uh, bow. There's a lot of bow guys right here. It doesn't matter, they're all dead. This guy's about to be dead. Um, this stabbing. Stabbed stab twice. Stab and now he's dead. Alright, um. Oh, is this is an arrow? This is, that's an arrow. Ow! This guy's are shooting me with an arrow in the knee. Ow. Actually, no, it doesn't work because I have five bullets. I don't care. Okay. But, um. We'll take that serious stick. I don't know why it keeps on introducing that to me. I've, 
had it like ever since Wait. the Great Plateau. I mean, it's not nothing new. Um, most of this stuff really isn't new stuff, so maybe it wasn't a good idea to go out to heal, but there was some Halos, so uh, I guess that's that? something, you know. Really, I think that's like a I guess, I guess cool that's an, I guess that's okay. There's a lot of baked apples, though, so maybe, maybe this was not all in vain. Probably because of the explosion, I probably superheated them all up. Okay, uh, take the apple. Uh, so I guess were there any other apples? I thought there was more apples. Yeah, there's more apples. Okay. Let's take a few more apples. That guy dropped a bundle of five dollars. Isn't that... Isn't that just a generous dude right there? You know, even in death, he provided us his, um, heroes, I suppose. I guess. I think this is like, like a... I mean, I don't know what to say besides that, but... Like let's take the treasure, because we're feeling so generous as well. It did say something about Waddle. I actually haven't read the entry for Opal, I don't think. So, um, uh, now I don't want to leave my trusty steed behind, but I do believe that if I continue on over here, uh, I can just, like, call him. So we're gonna, we're gonna test that out, see if that works. Um, I, I mean, I hope that it connects with that path. Seems to be a chasm, but that's not a problem for us now that we've got the hang glider and so many stamina elixirs and everything. We're good. Take a few more bits of choo choo jelly. Always appreciated, you know, good for making trusty meals or hearty meals or. I don't, I don't even know what kind of meals they make, but. Um, got yeah. it. Get that yeah, it was like just on the one when we shot him. Oh. Um, anything else around here? Oh, there's a oh okay, okay. There. What's over here? That's a shrine. Yeah, that's a shrine. That's a village. I think that's a Tenno village. Yeah, that's that that's where we're going. And yeah, so now we know where we're yeah, going. Yeah, all right. And our horse is not on the map. Oh, boy. That you just feel that I know it. Well, I'm actually going to reconnect with my horse because I don't want to be away from my horse, but hey, there's... That's useful, all right. They, even, they were so nice to, you know, make their own path for me, isn't that? Isn't that just like... I don't even, I don't even know what's going on, but that guy is a whole... That whole deals a st stupid amount of damage. That is a pitchfork. But the thing is, is that, you know, even the stuff that has so much damage, okay. like the hose and the pitchforks, they're just unnecessary because they, you know, uh, I don't know what just happened there, but as I was saying, they're kind of just unnecessary because they, you know, it's so slow that unless it's like in comparison to something like this, you know, I, I will drop, um, oops, did not, okay. okay, how do I throw my weapon, I'm sorry, uh, yeah, okay. There we go. I'm gonna just throw that away. Take my hoe. Take the bacoblin horns. Take See, you know, it's better than, you know, the beginning of the item games to an extent, but it's slow as my problem, so... Oops. Um, how is it that I called my horse? Oops, and that's not what I want either. Uh, is it down? Yeah, I think it's down. There's my horse coming. Is he coming? I don't see him coming on the map. Oh, he is coming. All right. I think I did it. Ha <laughs> ha! I did something without being taught by a wiki. Beat that, everyone who had to look at the wiki to do that. Um, this person over here, of course, I do want to check every, you know, nook and cranny. Um, yeah, so. What are they saying? I can tell I can tell you've changed your body well. I say you're familiar with both sword and bow, correct? That's a good stone set. Why don't you join the Yiga clan? Uh I'll pass, because those guys are evil. How about that? What you're refusing? Why don't you at least do what you gotta say for us? The Yiga clan, it's powerful boy okay. This guy is evil, I think. Yeah, the guy's definitely evil. Oh, the well only thing is quickly I'm gonna stay. change. Actually you can just stay this home and attack. Status him. Yeah, you can Oh yeah, because Okay. Um, um, just don't mind me. Just blowing myself up here. Important stuff. You know. uh, I, I really don't know what I'm doing. Okay, 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 okay. So status is what you said? So 
I I'm like Yeah, it's not woken very well. I know I'm Okay. Well, uh let's fight this dude. Um Take out my weapon. Alright. Uh, just always have a shield ready, of course. Oh, that, that guy was quick actually. Just took like three like four swipes from our guardian. And he and then he's dead now, so I mean that was a lot of whoopies, definitely, but it kind of caught me off guard there for a second. Like, as soon as I said the Yuka Clan, I knew something was up, but I mean... Yeah, apparently the Yuka Clan is out there, and it's not just like an isolated thing from Kakoiko that some old geezers were talking about. Are you going away from now? There is something over here. It's a, it, okay, okay, shrine nearby. I mean, this does look like a shrine place, I would say. Um... Um, there was some, like... This, yeah, this seems like a graveyard. Seems like it, I guess. Oh, yeah, there's this Caleb. This How do you get over here? Oh. Okay, okay. Dark Light mentioned here, and it must have been. Um, okay. Lights can't be dark, obviously, unless. Okay. So, something about a dark and light? Is there any, like, absence of light? Is there anything I'm missing over here? I I might wanna I might not wanna use my guardian sword during like just skirmishes with choo choos you know but um I do want to it said something about like darkened eyes and then when it do that you know like strike him in the eyes or something I think but none of these eyes are like dark I don't think. Maybe I think I have to do something. What if I just like strike random guys with like my sword in the eyes? Does that, does that do anything? Cause that's what it said in the. That's what it said in the thing. Does that. Does that do anything? I'm just cutting glass as of now. Um. Hold it. Hold it. No, this isn't Instead doing too much. Hold it. I don't think. Yeah, maybe this isn't what I'm looking for. Well, I think he said hold it, so... Yeah, that guy, he said hold it because I just, like, striked him in the face, I think. Um, well, uh... It's clearly not the answer to the riddle, but... Uh, is it possible that the shrine's just, like, way up there, and that's what I'm missing? Is it... That's probably what it is. But I... Um, oh, wait, there's, like, one more over there. Uh, oh, is it? Yeah, oh yeah, you're right, you're right. So it might be like those. It, yeah, these look important. Oh, there's just another one of the um, co-op co like game things. Yeah. I don't know so yeah, if you guys know what it, what exactly it is that I have to do, let me know in the comments. Pretty stumped. Maybe it has to do with like day or night or something. But I can't really control time right now, you know. I don't think so, anyways. But. Yeah, it says, like, right when I'm right here. Like, there's, like, a shrine nearby. As soon as, like, the farther away I get from it. Like, see, I'm, like, right here, and then all of a sudden I go right here. And it's, like, four bars, I think. Yeah, like, right here. Right, right at this spot. Right here. That's so confusing. Is it like close over here? Yeah, as soon as I go over here, I lost signal. So, yeah, it's, it has to be something with this shrine. It has to be something with this shrine. Alright, um. Is there something I'm missing? Oh, there's like a shield. Oh, I'm glazed. Shield. Is it that one that you just passed? Yeah, it, it's just randomly telling me when the shrine is nearby. Like, now it actually has nothing to do with anything. It's, a fox the it's possible that it's up there, but I'm like 99% sure that's something to do with these statues. But I am, again, I'm confused what to do with these statues. It's not really telling me much. So, I mean. You can just put like a um, mole here and then later when you. Oh, yeah, yeah, good point. Um, and then when that. you think you want to do something. Can just go back here, and you know where you're gonna go. Okay. So, yeah. Well, either way, let's continue on our path over here. Again, our goal was to get to the Hateno Village, so... 
I'm sure that side quests like that will have a day to be, you know, done, but... You know, the thing about this is that I so badly just want to explore everything around you. Just like all the cliff sides and, you know, what's on top of all these, like, cliffs. I know I'm saying cliffs a lot, but really, that's not what I want to explore, I know. And, like, oh, this looks so interesting. And just yeah, explain how the path looks. I'm sure that once I get to that towel right there, that'll explain a lot. Actually, I think that, sh yeah, I think we should make our way to that towel, actually. Yeah, how about we do that? How oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, okay. <laughs> Scary for a second there, but um Yeah, how about we make our way to the town to end off this episode, right here? Because uh it's definitely gonna help us with this map in situation. It's gonna help me have peace of mind going into these next few episodes. So let's continue on this very narrow pathway, by the way. Okay. <laughs> You're not the only one who's getting scared by this path. Uh, you know, I've never really liked roads that are literally like right next to that guy's mop. Yeah, I've never liked roads that are right next to a like cliffside. Like I've gone on roads like that, especially to uh, Mount Rushmore. I went on Trip Vale, and there was this like road I don't remember that had, like a mount that was like on a cliffside. And it was so, like, scary. Like, maybe it was just me being a kid. But, like, for me, that was just, like, so frightening when I was doing that, so. I don't know. What do you guys think? Because when I was a kid, those things frightened me to death. Ah, so, I mean. Oh, um, this guy can just die. Oh, there was a Westless Cricket right there. I think he just left. That all I took it. But... I mean, either way, it doesn't really matter too much. <laughs> but yeah, as I was saying, you know, these words, they're just so annoying. Oh, oh, hey, that's, that's a moblin. You know what? You know what, moblin? Uh, I'm going to give you some special treatment. I'm going gonna, gonna to give you a few fire arrows. And... Okay, he's not quite dead. In fact, I didn't do too much damage to him. And maybe this isn't a good idea, because I need some, a lot of fire arrows. And now he's dead. Alright. Well, uh, maybe the fire arrows aren't the best thing to fight someone with. Maybe it's just better to use you know, the swords like these. Maybe it's the best thing to use to make um, Well, that was Marvin. <laughs> so, um, clearly we are close to our destination. Uh, well, I mean, either way we can tell that. Uh, there was something up here to the right. Please don't check what that is. Not oh, those are some. That's some wild animals. This is such a nice view, you know that. Okay, yeah. Uh, it's not. Well, it is a nice view, but wow. it's not that close to the town. Right yeah, that's not. Yeah, that's not where we're headed. Gotta okay. remind, remind myself about it. There's some guys over there? They can see me, and that guy has a horse! I mean, if they want to duel, they can do that, but I mean. But I they're gonna know. have to catch up with me first, and. That's not happening anytime soon. So, uh, you know, while we have a horse, how about we just, like, ignore these guys, you know? Just land into that, like, guy. I mean, these guys really don't pose too much of a threat right now, so we'll like... And, um, well, look at all these right here. Looks like a maze. <laughs> and the you guys are behind me? Eternal okay, Tower. Eternal Tower, that is... I guess it's a little close I mean, it to makes sense, tunnel. but, um... Yeah, I mean, I don't imagine there's another towel near Hateno Village, so... Yeah. Alright, um... Let us climb the Hateno Tower! Alright, well, we may have passed all those enemies without actually fighting any uh, of the enemies, so... So, okay, I see how it is, right here. We just need to climb and, like, go between these two. If it comes to it, we can just go and use our energizing elixirs, you know, and all that jazz, so... You know, it really isn't too much to worry about right here, so we're good. Oh, yeah. But, like, what is that? Very windy up here, I just noticed. You can even see the wind, and, you know, if we've seen anything from the Great Plateau, if you could see the wind, that's not a good sign. Oh, and I think you now should use it. Uh, soon. Soon. Actually, there is a place where I can, like, stand right here, so I can just refill it without actually having to use it. Okay, gonna refill my stamina before I die. 
Uh, we're gonna get up to the top of the style, I think. Well, uh, halfway down, sort of. Okay, I guess they have to go into the middle of those two. I mean, I guess next episode we're gonna like have to deal with all those guys. Kind of. Seems kind of like a challenge. There's some begoblins with a horse and a bow with them. Like, that's... That's not cool. I don't know what it is. It's like going torn into, like, a monster. Yeah, it, was, it reminds me of, like, Twilight Princess. With, like, yeah, the... Being able to ride on your horse and then, like, shooting people. It's cool stuff. But, um... I'm gonna take a quick stop up here to refill my stamina yet again. Like I may or may not need it, but... Um, what's... Better to be safe than sorry, of course. So, so I guess uh, uh, oh, right. Alright, well. Quite close. Yeah, well, I'm a stay in fact. So. Uh, this is such a nice view, though. Can we just appreciate this for a second? Just. The. Like. <laughs> how much effort and how much craftsmanship and killfulness that they put into, you know, meticulously making each of these individual aliens. They're just so nice, and even though this is, like, everything we've seen in the game has, like, a glass forced biome, so we've never seen, like, anything, like, too new, it still hasn't gotten old in the slightest, and I'm really appreciating all the work that they've put into this. But anyways, let's put in our, uh, Sheikah Slate into this tower, activating the map right here, and initiating tower process right here with... An amazing, an amazing shot right here. Can we just appreciate this again? Just third time we've seen it all game. So I just, but. Scanning area. Sorry, I think this is another area. This shot just makes me cry every time. Because, because she can, it's tears. But, um, alright, what is the map looking like today? Man, this is actually a large area. Okay. Well, how is this looking? Regional map extracted. Okay, well, I'm gonna have to uh, look at that between episodes because we are actually running rather late here, but, um, at any rate, I will be saying right here, and if Link's not gonna go straight into the camera while I'm uh, trying to do my outro bit right here. Alright, that works as well. No, that works just fine, and I'm gonna say, everyone, thank you all for watching. Please, Please like, share, and subscribe if you've enjoyed the video. Comment if you have anything to say. Share with your friends, and I'll see you next time on The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. Now, see you then.